So if you're a regular viewer on this channel, you know we enjoy our fair share of 3D printing. It's been super useful to make these unique parts and I don't see that changing anytime soon. And recently I used a 3D scanner to scan my Triumph to create a tail tidy kit, a component I wouldn't have even dreamed of been able to create without this tool. And the scanner we used cost over 10,000 pounds. And with that in mind, let's see if the Creality Ferret Pro can hold up against the big boys. So recently, Creality have been crushing it in the 3D print game with their new flagship printer, the K1C. You can watch the recent video I made about it right here. And from generation to generation, the quality has only got better throughout those printers. And I'm assuming it's the same with the 3D scanners. And this is the Creality Ferret Pro 3D Scanner. So straight out the box, I'm already impressed with how small and light this package is. This is with the Wi-Fi receiver, um, the grip, the little foot base that comes with it as well, just to keep it all stood up if you wanted to do like a, a tabletop scan. It's even got things like this uh, USB-C cable with a, a grub screw to hold it in place so you don't snag and pull it out. This works better when you've got it plugged in directly to your laptop and you've got a long trailing cable and you're walking around things, you don't want it to pull out. So yeah, they've definitely put a lot of thought into this device. Now most 3D scanners, you need a very powerful PC because obviously it's a lot of graphical computing power that you need to use this sort of device. But with this one, you can either use your phone, you've even got Mac support, which is good for me because I use Mac, as well as PC, obviously. PC will always be the best option, but for now, we're gonna be using my Mac, as well as the phone version as well. Now, it goes without saying, if you've got an older phone, please check the specs, make sure that your phone is compatible with this device. I've got a newer iPhone, and I don't think I'm gonna have any issues with that, so bear that in mind. But yeah, it's gonna be very interesting to test this 400 pound device versus a 10,000 pounds device, and just see what, where the quality lies with either of them. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So before we get scanning, I need to clean up this lazy Susan I have. Much better. To start with, let's scan this side cover as it has all kinds of details and a shine making it potentially hard to capture. Now I've jumped into the Creality Scan software, I can get to the settings sorted and adjust the camera distance and start scanning. It takes a little getting used to to find the sweet spot, but it tells you on screen if you need to bring the camera closer or move it further away. And after a few rotations of the table, various angles, we've got enough to complete the scan. All that's left to do is let it process and show us the finished article. Pretty good. I've lost some of the detail in the shifter numbers as you can see, and I'm sure with some fine tuning of the settings we could get a cleaner finish. So now we have the results, let's get the expensive scanner out. This is the £10,000 3D scanner. So this scanner that only works with a high-end PC uses a different kind of laser and if you saw the data sheet it would hurt your brain trying to figure out what it all means. But let's see how well this scanner has scanned. There's a little bit more, de more detail there because it actually has picked up the numbers. Ooh, it has picked up the numbers. So you can see that it is marginally clearer but obviously it is a lot more money. It is a much more expensive scanner so of course it's going to be better quality overall. But Side-by-side -side comparison, it doesn't look too bad. Now, as a test, I'm going to attempt to scan my entire Triumph and just see how it works and reacts because there's so many different textures and colors and finishes and everything that it might be quite a tricky thing to do, but let's have a go. And who knows, if it looks good, we can make a 3D printed model of this bike. So yeah, let's get scanning. So whilst we scan this bike, let's talk about some of the other advantages of this scanner. With it being so portable, you can actually scan outdoors in direct sunlight. You can also scan black objects without any spray assistance. And portrait scanning is a thing too. That looks pretty damn cool. But we won't know until we've got this processed and actually got it in the software. Let's have a look. So this scan may have not turned out to be perfect for 3D printing and making a absolute pitch perfect scale but I've got to say it's pretty good for things like mocking up parts that I will be using on the frame and actually just getting like mount mounting points and locations for brackets and so on 
So I'm really excited to see the potential of this scanner and what else we can use it for. I might not be printing this bike. I'd need a resin printer to do this sort of detail, but that doesn't matter. It's been really fun to play with and just see what it can do. I could have gone into so much more detail about this scanner, but I'm not going to because there's so many videos already out there who explain it really, really well. But overall, we're all printing different things and it's one of those things you'll just have to play with the setting yourself. I've not played with a 3D scanner like this and it's been a really fun experience from start to finish using both the laptop and the phone version. It's actually quite nice overall. But the main takeaway from this is the actual quality of the scans versus the £10,000 scanner. You can see how good of a scanner it actually is for the sort of money that you're paying for it. It's definitely not the best scanner out there, but for the price point, it is pretty damn good. It's definitely one of those products that you use just to get the job done. It's very really good for that. And especially with the form factor it's got, it's such a small package in such a small case compared to that massive box the other 3D scanner came in. It's night and day difference, really. But yeah, I'll leave some information down below, some links and stuff that you can check out. I've had some fun using this scanner, and yeah, I can't wait to use it in future videos. So thanks again for watching, and I shall see you in the next video. Peace.